Earlier in the fall, Shane asked us to consider one thing for 2018 that would require a big faith, to do something that would happen only if it were a matter of faith. I knew immediately that mine was to spend more quality time with my family. We spend plenty of time together, just not a lot of quality time. We are always fighting the electronics and being on the go. I love being on the go, and I have a really hard time saying no to volunteering, to activities, to events. So in order to make this change, I knew I needed to invite God in to show me what this would look like. Through prayer, I sensed God calling us to the table on a regular basis, to family dinners. So to be a challenge, I thought this meant four nights a week. We live on the road and it's so easy for us to just eat in the car or let the boys eat first and Roy and I eat later. Being at home brought on more anxieties. I felt like we were missing out on something that our kids would get behind athletically. Cooking. I'm not a cook, it's not my thing. I enjoy it, but it doesn't come naturally. It meant I had to say no to other things which brought on tremendous guilt. To be successful, to eat dinner at home four times a week and have a peaceful heart, I knew that this would have to be a matter of faith. I continued to pray and to give my anxieties to God. The outcome has been amazing. Our children love being at home in the kitchen. They love playing outside, just being kids. We have this tree house in the backyard that we've really never played with. But we've finally taken the time to decorate it for Halloween and now for Christmas. It has become a great place for us to hang out, to play Uno Attack, and to tell stories. We also use the extra time at home to go swimming, to play basketball and football, to make cookies. And for the first time in my life as a parent, I've been able to maintain the laundry. This alone has been a victory. By inviting God in, the challenge has become a tremendous blessing. I've learned more about my children and what's going on in their lives. I can remember nights back in September when I learned things about my children that I was like, how did I not know this about my child? I feel like our children have a greater sense of security through witnessing our marriage. Roy and I have always had a good marriage, but it, I know it's becoming stronger. The guilt from saying no to other things has subsided. I've realized that what I was saying no to all along was my family. I'm so thankful God has called us to slow down and spend this time together. Memories are being made that I won't forget. Don't get me wrong, we fall off the wagon. We have days and weeks when we don't have our dinners. But I'm thankful for God's grace and that He keeps calling us back to the table. Family and faith are of the utmost importance to me. I could not have made this commitment to my family and to God unless it was a matter of faith.